Hi, in this episode, webisode, uh, we're going to have a look at making decisions. And decisions are really important in computer programming because without decisions, your program would pretty much run line to line and then never do anything um, of interest. So uh, decisions allow us to make things like uh, if the player hits a block, uh, then we play a sound. If the player uh, gets the end zone, we total up the, the number of coins they have, and if they have if they have over 100 coins they get an extra life, if they have over 200 coins they get to do a bonus level, all these kind of things. These are the, these are decisions that the, the programmer builds in using if statements. And we're going to have a look at if statements just now. And if statements are fairly easy, but we're going to introduce another little thing as well um, called a variable. Um, and variables in Blitzmax uh, are just, in fact, in any computer language, are just a place to store information. But you need to tell it what type of information you're going to store in that, that variable. So variables are just like a box, but you need to describe what's going to be put in that box. So, uh, for example, uh, a video cassette box stores videos, videotapes, whereas a DVD box stores just DVDs, doesn't store anything else. You can't put a video into a DVD box and technically you could put a, a DVD into the, the uh, video box but it just would rattle about and not be very tidy so you have to put the correct th information into the correct boxes so in this one we're going to create uh, a simple if statement that displays uh, a message if the this, this statement is true so first of all we're going to say we're going to have a variable called is snowing and we're going to set that to true and we're going to say if is snowing print it is snowing okay so in this line here we're creating a variable called is snowing and we're telling blitzmax it's going to be an integer Blitzmax is slightly kind of weird depending on different if you're used to different languages. Uh, this, although it's an integer, uh, we're setting it to this value true. True is the equivalent of one in Blitzmax. It just means that it's 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 non-zero. Uh, and we'll come back to this much later when we talk about variables and so forth. But this one here, this line here with the, the flashing cursor, this line here says create a variable called is snowing, set it to type integer and give it a default value, in other words set the value up to be true. And this block of text here is your actual if statement. So we have if and then a condition and the condition has to boil down to being true or being false. It can't be anything else, it can either be true or false. So if is snowing, print it's snowing. And then we put end if at the end of that. So when we run it Build and run. Linking, linking, linking. And eventually it'll come back and it'll say it's snowing. Which is right because we've said snowing is true. And because it's that saying if is snowing is true, we could actually have written equals true there. But because this thing here, this what's called a condition must be a, a boolean value. A boolean just means it's true or false. We can actually avoid that because we've, we've said it's going to be either true or false up here. So we can change this to false and then rerun it. So this time hopefully it won't display anything if I've saved it all right. So it's executing and you can see here that nothing's getting displayed. So we've got an if, so if, if this condition is true, we print something, otherwise we just fall into the next next line. Uh, and just to prove that, we can do print, uh, this is not a conditional line. Okay. So, oops. So if we run that, the only line that should be displayed is, this is not a conditional line. Okay, so this is not a conditional line was executed because it, because it's not inside an if statement. 
So print is snowing, it's snowing. We can also add another keyword here called else. And instead of falling through the if statement, uh, like I did in the previous one, uh, this will actually display something here. Print it's not snowing. So if this variable here is true, we display this message. If this variable here is false, we display this message. So when we run it, we should get two lines now. So it's not snowing, and we also get the this is not a conditional line. And if we change this to true, and then run it, we should now get the message it is snowing. Okay. Okay. Um, we've covered quite a bit um, in, in sort of rough detail uh, in this tutorial. We've covered if statements. Um, we're going to look at at, uh, at looping in our next one. Uh, and there's different types of looping uh, within computers, within computer programming in general. Um, and we're going to look at them in, in separate episodes. So the, the, the next one, next week, hopefully, um, I'll make no promises, um, will be all about the for loop. So, hope you'll join me then. Bye.